yeah, I don't know why I was so scared to do this. Now that I'm here and just doing it, it's not a big deal at all. and it's actually pretty nice. Yeah, I don't know why I was so scared to do this. Now that I'm here and just doing it, it's not a big deal at all. When I planned this trip, I looked up all the tourist attractions that I wanted to go to online, got recommendations from friends and a Facebook group called Girls Love Travel, I believe. I'll put the info below. If you're interested in traveling and you're female, I definitely recommend it. If you go on this, like once you're part of the, a member of the group, you can search in the search tab and like a location like Chicago or Thailand, wherever it may be. And any recommendations anyone's ever given will pop up on that tab. So I use those to plan like a lot of the foods and more non-touristy things for this trip. So I plotted the locations I wanted to go to on Google Maps and then I downloaded the map to use offline just in case I didn't have service or if my phone was dying I could use it on airplane mode. And while it doesn't give you step-by-step -step directions, it shows you the blue dot and it tells you, you know, if you're going closer or further away to the place you want to go to. So once I had everything in Google Maps, I planned my trip around basically locations. My biggest worries were I am not good at public transportation. I do not know how to navigate myself at all. I got lost. I think I took the wrong train all my three out of the five times I took it. 